Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to take three images and combine them into one. We're going to start out with our first image of my son Joe sitting in the middle of the bench. Our second image, he's sitting on the left side. Third image, he's sitting on the right. We're going to combine these into one image so that we have three Joes sitting on the bench. This was one of the first videos I ever did on Photoshop. And the reason why I'm doing it over is because I keep getting a lot of questions from people that are really confused about masking. They don't understand masking in Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Pixelmator, GIMP. Whatever application might use masking, this is applicable. I also want to do it over because that old video uh, was quite a few years ago. My son Joe is probably about 14, 15 in this shot, and he's going to be 22 in a couple weeks. So the video's really old, and the Photoshop version I used was probably Photoshop 5 or 6, and Photoshop has uh, changed considerably since then. So I want to update it and do it over. Also, if you'd like to practice along at home, you could have these images for free. In the description below the video will be a link uh, so you could download these images. So uh, we're going to get rid of that. Now what we need to do is load the three images into Photoshop. I have them on my desktop right here. I'm going to go down and open Photoshop. And you need to load them as layers in Photoshop. And in Photoshop parlance, it's called lo loading them as a stack. Now again, this isn't just applicable to Photoshop. You could do this in Affinity Photo, um, you know, GIMP, uh, Pixelmator, all those different applications that use masking. So we're going to go up into Photoshop and we're going to go to File and we're going to go down to Scripts and down to Load Files into Stack. When you do that, the Load Layers dialog box appears, and we need to browse where they are on the computer. So we'll click Browse, and we'll, they're right here on the desktop. So I'm going to just click on the first one, hold the Shift key down, and click on the last one. So they're all selected, and click Open. Now, to get away with this, you really need to shoot the images with your camera on a tripod, which I did. But just in case there was just a tiny movement between shots, you want to make sure that these images are perfectly aligned. So click on Attempt to Automatically Align Source Image Images and then click OK. And Photoshop's just going to align them, load them as layers, and we'll be ready to manipulate them. Now we have the three images, one on top of the other. The top layer is Joe 1, and that's the one with him in the middle. And it really doesn't matter what order you have these in. Uh, you just need to really um, reveal the layer below using a mask, and more about that in a minute. So we have Joe 1 right in the middle. I'll turn that off by clicking on the eyeball, and I have Joe 2 on the left. And I'll turn that off by clicking on the eyeball, and we have Joe 3 on the right. So let's deal with the bottom two first. So I'm going to leave the top layer off, and I'll turn this middle layer, Joe 2, back on. Now this is Joe on the left, and it's totally covering up the bottom layer of Joe on the right. So what we need to do is mask in Joe from that bottom layer. So what we need to do is add a layer mask to this layer. Now make sure you're on that layer, which is Joe 2. So make sure that's the active layer. We have Joe 1 turned off, so we're on the active layer Joe 2. We need to add a mask to it. At the very bottom, this little rectangle with the circle in the middle, that's your mask icon. Just click there. Now we've added a white mask to this layer. Nothing has changed. What we need to do is kind of poke a hole in that mask so that Joe, that's the bottom layer, pops through. To poke a hole on a white mask, you paint in black. So what you need to do is get a brush tool. The keyboard shortcut for the brush tool is B as in boy. So that's right here, by the way, and we're going to paint in black. So you need to make sure this color swatch, the front one, is black. Now, if you have different colors here, hit the D key on your keyboard. That will bring back the default white and black colors. If black isn't the front color swatch, just hit the X key on your keyboard, and it will swap them. So now we, we're all set. We have a brush. We have black, the foreground color. Make sure opacity is at 100 and flow is at 100. Now we know Joe is sitting right around here on that bottom layer. 
Also, just double check that you're clicked on the mask. This is a mistake many beginners make. They're accidentally clicked on the layer or they're clicked on one of the other layers. You want to make sure you're on the mask. The mask is active, has that white kind of bracket around it. We have a brush. I know Joe is sitting right here on that lower layer. And if I just click once and click, you know, do one little paint uh, dab right there, we could see there's his sweatshirt. So what we want to do now is just paint and just get him painted in. Now, I just want to paint just enough to get him in. Because the layers are aligned and I did use a tripod, theoretically everything should be aligned. But it was a breezy day. Uh, the trees probably moved in the background a little bit. And the leaves on the ground might have moved when we were walking around between shots or whatever. So you want to make sure that you're just getting just enough to get him in there. Also, we have Joe in the middle we have to do yet. So we don't want to go too far in the middle. So there we go. We have now Joe on the left, Joe on the right. Now our top layer has Joe in the middle. And you can see as I, soon as I turn that on, it totally obscures those lower two layers and the layer mask. So now what we need to do is add a layer mask to this layer and poke holes in it so that those two Joes below him pop through. So make sure that layer is active, that you're clicked on it. See how they're different? Make sure you're clicked on that layer. Go down to the layer mask icon, click on that. So we added a white layer mask. Make sure that's active. Again, we're going to use a brush and paint in black. And we know Joe's over here and Joe's over here. So all I need to do is find Joe, kind of get my bearings, and then paint him in. Now, if you should make a mistake, let's say that you sneeze right now and you go like that, and you went, oh my gosh, I just like obscured Joe in the middle. Don't worry. All you need to do now is paint in white. It's kind of like an eraser when you're painting on a mask. So we're going to swap these colors so white is the foreground color. Hit the X key, and now white is the foreground color. And now we just paint in white, and we'll bring that middle Joe back, right? Okay. Now we'll go back to painting in black. I'll hit the X key again, and I'll go back here and continue painting in Joe in the uh, left-hand side. Make sure I got them all in there. Go around the edges, and that looks pretty good. Now we have Joe over here on the right, and my mistake when I sneezed, I did bring some of him in, so we'll bring the rest of them in. Just like this. I mean, it's one of the easier things, actually, you could do in masking is something like this in, in Photoshop and masking, or any, again, any application that uses masking. And just like that, we have three Joes. So I think you'll agree, it's really super, super easy to do. So again, uh, you could have these files for free. There'll be a link in the description below this, these, this video. You don't have to use Photoshop either. Use whatever application you use, Affinity Photo, GIMP. Practice, practice, practice. The, the technique is the same. Uh, you're just going to add these two masks, and you're going to paint where Joe is located in the below it. So in this case here, so you could see on our mask here, I painted there. And I could even paint like that to bring it in a little more. And then on the top mask, I'll hold the Alter Option key in to get that active. And you can see I painted there. And that's where I sneezed again. So actually, I could clean up the mask by hitting the X key and then kind of clean this up here. So it just is more applicable to everything. So there you go. There is everything you need to know on how to do this kind of trick photography that is probably one of the more common tricks people do in photography. Also, um, if you are on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'm at Anthony Morganti on Instagram. There'll be a link for my Instagram in the description below this video. And if you have an image you're really proud of, tag me in it. I really get inspired looking at other people's photography. So, um, you know, don't be shy. Tag me in it. I'd love to see your work. Also, while you're down there, if you could do me a favor, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to click on that little bell so you get updates. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know of anyone that would benefit from watching this video, please share it. And as always, 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.